For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes. If you watch the open ceremony of the Olympics, then you as a believer should have not only been horrified, but emboldened against the great assault on our faith. And the word spoken in Romans 1.16 should resonate in you and challenge you to examine the depth of your conviction. To understand the weight of Paul's statement, we must first consider the context in which it was made. Paul, once a zealous persecutor of the Christians, underwent a radical transformation on the road to Damascus. This profound encounter with Christ reoriented his entire existence compelling him to become one of the most zealous, passionate champions of the gospel, of the faith he once sought to extinguish. His journeys took him through diverse cultures and hostile territories, where proclaiming the gospel often meant facing persecution, imprisonment, or even death. Yet in the face of such adversity, Paul's resolve remained unshaken. But what is it about the gospel that infused Paul with such unwavering courage? He provides that answer himself, for it is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes. The gospel isn't merely a collection of moral teachings or philosophical musings. It is the very embodiment of God's redemptive power. Through the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, God enacted his plan to reconcile humanity to himself. This message holds the transformative power to turn sinners into saints, to breathe life into the spiritually dead, and to offer hope where despair once reigned. Moreover, salvation is all-inclusive for everyone who believes. The gospel doesn't discriminate based on ethnicity, social status, or past transgressions. It embraces and welcomes all who would turn their hearts towards Christ. Reflecting on Paul's words, we must ask ourselves, are we, too, unashamed of the gospel? Do our lives bear witness to its power? In our workplaces, social circles, and even within our families, are we willing to stand as living epistles of Christ's love and redemption? Let us therefore draw inspiration from Paul's conviction. May our hearts be emboldened, our voices unwavering, and our lives reflective of the transformative power of the gospel. May God bless and keep you, my friends, in Jesus' holy and precious name. Amen.